What's up YouTube? Hefe coming to you. Captain Awesome's Fish Room. Having a great day. It's Monday afternoon and we're doing some water changes. I got a feeding tip for y'all today. Um, you know, a lot of us, we use good foods and stuff like that. But see, uh, there's some... Damn it. Hold on. There's uh, some supplements that you can use to make your food uh, even more nutritious. Uh, you know, especially if you're feeding frozen foods every once in a while or freeze-dried foods every once in a while um, you know you can even soak your pellets in it uh, you can soak uh, flake if you wanted to I mean it would deteriorate pretty fast but uh, yeah so it's a it's a feeding tip and uh, you know that's basically what it is but uh, I want to show you all a few things first um, I want to show you all these fishy fish in here uh, just got done doing water changes on all my tanks. Uh, I don't know if I already told you all that, but if I didn't, uh, that's what I'm doing here. Let me set you all down for a second. Check out the water wisteria. But, we have some cool things going on in here, guys. Lots of lush plant growth. Uh, lots of cichlids that love to tear up plants, as you can see by the holes in the leaves. Just all ripped up in there. Throw some food in here and let you all see. There's one of the bean eye. A lot of the umbies. You see the moda right there. I really want y'all to see the Midas uh, because um, I may be getting another Midas later this week. Um, and it, you know, the guy I'm getting it from said it was gonna blow my mind. Uh, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped about getting uh, the Midas. You know, check out that bean eye right there. And uh, you know, so stay tuned for that. Um, also have some plants coming. Uh, you know, nothing, you know, nothing uh, super rare or anything like that. I just have some plants, so I'll do an unboxing on that and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I just kind of wanted to show you all the fish in here. I also have my uh, Magnum X Umbies and some Rio Magdalena Umbies. I got the Feste in here. Uh, let me try to give you all an example. There's the Moda right there. Look at that guy. Look at that Moda Gwens, guys. Golly. Just holy fishies. You can see one of the Magnum X's right there. These Magnum X's guys are loaded with freckles. Uh, I mean, they are just uh, Mac Daddies of freckles. Uh, I also have some Jags in there that I'm growing out to try to get with my male over here. But, um, anyways, we'll get on to the, the feeding or the yeah the feeding tip and if I see the fish I want to show you then we'll come down there and look at them but anyways uh, like I was saying a lot of us you already use a nutritious food uh, so you know you you may not think that you need to add anything but you know it's always beneficial to add some uh, extra vitamins and minerals and amino acids and stuff like that um, and a lot of you saltwater guys are going to know what I'm talking about when I show you this. It's made by Kent Marine. It's Zoe and Zoe Con. I used to call it Zoe and Zoe Con, but on the bottle, I guess enough people, you know, set it around the wrong people and they started correcting people with the literature on the bottle. So, uh, the Zoe, which is this one right here, is a vitamins, minerals, and amino acid supplement. Um, now, these are salt water uh, products, guys, but you can use them as a food soak for fresh water, okay? I've done it for a lot of years. I mean, this stuff isn't new, guys. I mean, by no means is it new. Um, and the Zoecon is a essential lipid fish growth stimulator, okay? Now, with the Zoe, uh, you're supposed to use a liberal amount of this stuff, so buying the bid the big bottle uh, is always a plus uh, when you're using it as a food soak. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but they only had the, the smaller bottle when I was buying it. And the Zoe Con is a more potent product, okay? On the bottle, it reads that you should only uh, put one drop per 50 gallons inside of your system. Uh, now, of course, that is a saltwater system, guys. You know, I've never added this to a freshwater tank directly to the water column uh, so I really can't give you any pointers on that but you know as using it using it as a food soak yeah it's awesome uh, so I've already prepared some 
You can see that uh, the Zoecon, uh, that's all the green stuff right there. I'll give y'all, I'll show y'all. Um, you know, it's just, it's just like a clear green liquid. See? Now, this stuff is actually like a milky white. Here, let me find something I can put a drop in and I'll show y'all. This is like a milky white. Now, when you're using this, guys, squeeze the bottle, tip the bottle upside down, let go of the bottle, and then squeeze one drop, just like that. Well, that was actually two, but you get the point. Uh, the Zoecon is actually like a milky substance, okay? Um, and that's what gives it that green, milky color when you mix it with the Zoe. Now, what you want to do is if you're using freeze-dried food with this, guys, uh, you want to take your freeze-dried food, whatever it is, whether it be krill, brine shrimp, spirulina and brine shrimp, beef heart, blood worms, glass worms, all that fun stuff, are not, I don't think they make freeze-dried glass worms, and I was talking about frozen beef heart. But anyways, uh, with the freeze-dried stuff, you just put it in there and let it set for five minutes. This stuff is almost ready, and I'll show you all feeding. Um, if you're using it with frozen foods, you know, uh, you just... What I do when I put frozen foods in there, like my blood worms or beef heart or the brine shrimp, what I do is I fill it up like so, and then I put the frozen food in there, and then pop it in the refrigerator overnight. The next day, I feed it as a breakfast for my fish. Uh, and as far as pellets go, guys, uh, you want to be kind of careful when you're when you're food soaking pellets. Okay, pellets are made with a, a a binder to keep the nutrients in long enough for the fish to you know snatch them up to where they get at least 90% of the nutrients. Well, if you soak that pellet, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to get like super, super saturated and you're going to lose a little bit, but you're also gaining a little bit, especially using the Zoe Con, okay, the, the, the lipid growth stim stimulator. Um, it, you, you'll gain a little bit, but you don't want to let them soak too long. I'd say no longer than just a couple minutes. Uh, any other food like your frozen or your freeze dried, you definitely want to let set at least five minutes with the frozen food I let it set overnight that way uh, you know it all melts down and gets nice and saturated there for you because with the frozen food guys to be honest uh, there's not a lot of nutritional value to frozen food I mean with the beef part yeah you're getting a lot of protein um, but that's really all you're getting with frozen foods is just a bunch of protein to be honest with you unless it has spirulina in it and then you're getting a little bit of uh, vegetable matter but even then uh, you're not you're not getting uh, the the highest amount of vegetable matter that you could with a food. Uh, so you know just just a little tip there. But see these guys are done. So I'll grab one of these out of here, and we'll give one to my big boy here. He loves his krill. So we'll put it inside the tank, and we'll watch him come up and get it. There he goes, boom! And see, he's getting uh, you know more than just what the krill can provide. So he's getting all kinds of vitamins and minerals. Uh, he's getting amino acids. Uh, you know, let's just let's just take a look at this and see all all the stuff that it has in it. All right, uh, guaranteed analysis: vitamin A, B12, B1, niacin, uh, B6, vitamin C. Now, if you come over, where is it? Where ingredients? Deionized with spirulina, kelp, absorbic acid, vitamin A. Uh, I can't pronounce that one. Folic acid, uh, choline chloride, niacin, calcium, thiamine, which is B1, riboflavin, that's B2. So you're getting all this stuff, guys. I mean, this is this is great for your freeze dried foods. Uh, like krill and uh, you know the, those freeze dried spirulinas and brine shrimps or just the brine shrimp, the freeze dried blood worms, all that stuff. Uh, so it's, I mean it's a great additive. Um, I, you know I wouldn't I wouldn't say do it every day, but you know it's it's definitely something good to do. You know maybe once twice a week. Uh, I give it to my fry probably twice a week. Uh, they dig it. All my fish dig it. I mean it, it's not like a 
you know, a, a bad tasting thing to where, you know, they're not going to want to eat it or anything like that. But, you know, just a little tip uh, to make your freeze-dried food or your frozen food a little bit better for your fish. And, uh, you know, help them grow a little bit faster, help them, you know, be more vibrant and healthy. Uh, you know, the more vitamins and minerals you can give them, the more algae-based stuff you can give them, like vegetable matter, uh, the better it is. I mean, these fish love protein, guys, but, you know, in the wild, yeah, they eat other fish, but what are those fish's guts loaded with, you know? Like, if they're eating guppies or, you know, mollies or, you know, whatever other smaller fish is around them, uh, those smaller fish generally eat algae or uh, crustaceans that have algae or, you know, I mean, they're, they're getting a lot of vegetable matter, guys. So that's why whenever people say that goldfish have no nutritional value unless you gut load them, uh, that's why. Because your fish aren't only eating the protein whenever they eat fish out in the wild, guys. Uh, whenever they eat a fish, that fish has eaten algae matter. That fish has eaten other things that have uh, algae matter in them. You know, so you want a, you want a varied, uh, broad spectrum of vitamins, minerals, uh, vegetable matter, and stuff like that inside your fish's diet for them to be as vibrant and as, as healthy as they can be. So with that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you all enjoyed the tip. Um, you know, go pick you out some, uh, pick you up some Kemp, Kent Marine Zoe and Zoe Con. I'll show y'all the bottles one more time. And as always, guys, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. And we'll see y'all tomorrow on Tuesday. Peace out, guys.